Hello and welcome back to Stalker Escape from Pripyat. Yeah, I got it right. I did it right. Um, few things happened between uh, the last and this episode. Um, nothing too wild, although um, at one point I was attacked by a military dude in a exoskeleton and I failed to kill them, unfortunately. Actually, that's not true. I succeeded in killing them, but they killed me as well. So, uh, we didn't, I didn't like magically gain a, uh, exoskeleton between episodes. Wouldn't that be super convenient? Instead, I managed to get myself an ADAR, which, uh, in the last episode was like, hmm, I'll, I'll keep my eye out for an ADAR because it seems like a pretty good weapon. Um, turns out, uh, when I went to the farm, there were bandits just here. And, uh, so I killed them as, as you do. And one of them happened to have an ADAR, which was uh, really nice. And I looked through all my components in my chest, and I happened to have um, replacements for all of them. I spent a little bit of money repairing all of those components and also upgrading the condition, and it's almost fully repaired now. And it uh, is compatible with our ammo, the 556-45. We have two magazines. And yeah, everything is actually pretty, pretty uh, rosy about that. So we've got ourselves an ADAR and magically, I mean, this, this really is like the cherry on top is I happened to have, I, I don't know if you, you maybe remember uh, a long, a few episodes ago, uh, quite a few episodes ago, I had a scope that I was using to kind of, as binoculars, those just happened to have been compatible with the ADAR. Um, and so I have a, a reasonable scope. I think that the, this thing is comparable with the uh, sniper rifle that I was using, and I think the scope is slightly better. So I'm going to try using this for a little while. It's not upgraded, not too much anyway right now, but, um, you know, we'll get there. Um, so we did just, uh, pass a day. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to equip our, let's unequip this and, uh, attach ourselves that bracelet and then we're gonna go ahead and eat some moderately toxic food oh i did um one of the nice things about spending a lot of time doing inventory management and crafting things and upgrading things and repairing things is you actually gain experience points and we got ourselves a trait point so i would like to see this uh, you have 25 percent chance uh higher chance to not spend a use of your repair kit when repairing parts and tools this would be great i actually think that this would be uh just just lovely um, what do we've got so far? Lone Stalker, Gunsmith, Friendly Face. We get a slight bonus. Uh, Wandering Merchant, Tough Skin. Take 10% less damage from Mutant Hit. Strong Hit. Or, uh, strong Back, Strider. Um, I think I'd like to get the Part Restorer. I think that the, considering how much time and, and you know... Uh, I'm spending on, on res restoring stuff. I think that that would be very valuable and it would basically pay for itself very, very quickly. Um, we're going to go ahead and drink some water. I probably want to go to the swamp today real quick just to get ourselves some water. Because we are kind of out. Um, but, you know, what are we doing today? I, I'd like to... Uh, we spent a little bit of money. I'd like to get up to a hundred grand... And then um, buy our uh, buy our next set of equipment, um, and you know that's what we're gonna we're, what we're gonna be doing. Um, we've got a couple of things we could do. Uh, oh my god! Why do we always have so many things to do in Agriprom? I guess I may have taken a quest in Agriprom, and I'm not super happy about that. If I'm being honest, we do have something we can do uh, accomplish in the great swamps so um that is that's tempting we could check out the dark valley i have never really been to the dark valley um at least not in this iteration of um stalker so i think what we want to do is we're just going to go to the, like I, I i need water so we're going to go ahead and head to i think we can go to the pump station because the pump station belongs to the clear sky uh for now um, unless that quest failed automatically. I don't know. I'll do a quick pause here All right, let's see if we spawned in absolute Chaos no, it seems we haven't we can go check out that stash I think I had that stash before and I didn't go and check it out because 
there's just a ridiculous amount of stuff going on and indeed there is still a bunch of stuff going on but i think you know that's that is we just chalked that up to the the zone being the zone so we're gonna go ahead and go dip our toes in this water and fill it up all right so we've got ourselves some not so good water and um do i have i do have uh, okay, I guess we can't boil it or can we can we boil it right now doesn't look like it I guess we need to be near water or uh, sorry fire the opposite of that um, We could stand to actually do this now. Uh oh Uh oh Seems like the one thing we can take down is a cat. I really did eat my words in the very beginning of this series when I said, oh, I, uh, ho hopefully we don't have to kill any cats. We've killed more cats than maybe anything else. Whatever. I'm, I'm used to it now. Seems like a cat is getting wild around here. It's true. Uh-oh. Something else is seeing me. Not sure what. Let's do a quick save. I'm hoping... There'll be a fire pit nearby. What is seeing me? I am hearing bandits. Or something horrible, I don't know. Some some person. Here's our stash. What do we got? Nothing? That doesn't seem right. Now that can't be right. Okay, that was a weird glitch. Um uh, I mean I've seen worse, but not by much. All right, so we're, oh, is that a fire pit? I know it's absolutely ludicrous of me to try and boil our water now, but may as well. Boil all. I'm not doing too good in terms of my health right now. I'm not sure what's up with that. Uh, I mean, I've been, I have been hit, taking hits here and there. I did repair, like mostly re fully repair all of our equipment. Even though I'm like planning on upgrading, you know, our equipment, I think it's a good idea just in general, good practice to keep things, um, you know, looking good. Uh, all right, so our water is now boiled. Um, now we will purify it all. And there we go, we are good. Probably I could stand to buy some more purifying tablets. So, I might uh, quick travel to our uh, clear sky. Let's go ahead and do that now. Not sure. I mean, the only thing we could do, like, potentially accomplish... There's still hostiles nearby. I mean, that's true. There's something nearby. I don't know what. What is... What am I seeing right now? There's like moving fire over there. That is surreal and slightly disturbing. I think I'm bleeding. Go ahead and take care of that. Okay, I don't know what that is. That looks like a dog on fire. And that is exactly what that was, actually. Oh, okay, it's a dog hanging out in a like fire anomaly zone. Okay, let's let's there's some dogs over here. I don't there's no reason for me to be over here But I guess we're gonna be fighting some dogs Oh At least the uh, mutants seem to trigger the anomalies 
That was fun. I I actually enjoy, I enjoyed that a little bit of emergent gameplay there. I can grab something. I wouldn't mind grabbing some more food. Let's not like die in exactly the way. Well, that, those dogs are kind of in the electro zone. Those aren't though. I think you can get away with uh, chopping this guy up. Oh, nice. There we go. Perfect. Um, let's see if we can't fast travel now. There's still hostiles nearby. All right. So we have to head southwest. Jeez. Things like I'm, I'm very far away from where we need to be. I don't really need to go there except to buy purifying food tablets. So like we don't need to be there uh, basically at all. Um, I could head to Agriprom. Actually, that wouldn't be a terrible idea. Um, we're at a very good like position to do that. We got some nice chunky meat here. free meat free food excellent and uh, i've got quite a nice supply of um various alcohols for purifying that meat so we should be good in that regard yeah let's head to back to agriprom i know i keep going to agriprom despite the fact that i do not like going there but we keep getting like missions and stashes and stuff and all kinds of things to collect so you know i what can i say i i'm a glutton for punishment but also the game is like really uh wanting to force me to go there oh we got we got flesh o's i do like oh okay that yeah that, that thing got jibbed i do like the sight on this shotgun it does help at least it helps when you're um, shooting at something that is, like, very much larger than yourself. Okay, we are... That, that moderately toxic food is actually moderately toxifying ourselves. Oof. I, our rads are not looking so good right now. Might need to take some pills. We got some uh, greatly re effective at reducing toxicity... Is there negative? There's these radiation resistance and chemical resistance. Uh, but it, it's a drag on our um, satiation. Mm -hmm. Then there's this, which is actually just good. I, I kind of want to just like wait it out though. I could drink a bit of this Ukrainian beer. I don't think the Ukrainian beer is good for um, purifying. I don't think it's like good enough. So we'll use it just to, you know stave off a little bit of those rads. Psy storm is happening between 2200 and zero. Okay, well, that's in the middle of the night. I don't expect to be out and about at that time at all. Um, all right, we're headed in the right direction. I, there was a, a very fun moment that you did miss, uh, which was I um, I was trying to clear out the farm at one point, and because um, it was I, I I don't like that effect. It was you know surrounded by bandits for some reason, and I was like, okay, well if I can't just like fast, oof. Oh my g one shot huh really one shot cool jeez um i i fast travel to a location across the street from the farm to to maybe try and approach it from a different angle and there was a bloodsucker there and there wasn't just a bloodsucker there but a very large and very tough one i don't know they seem to vary in like 
shape and size and uh you know maybe some of them are tougher than others but um this one it just took everything i i threw at it and um refused to die and it took me out and that was when i decided to just like oh i'll just um like sleep through the night and try and approach this during the day one thing that bothers me about this um pack for soccer is i don't like how the weather changes sometimes when I load. It's, a, it's one one thing that does really bother me. I do wish that the, you know, the weather, the weather doesn't really seem to change dynamically like I thought it did. Mm. Saw those renegades kill a rat. I do have a RF stash in the cordon that I should um, go and collect because that should be pretty easy. I really shouldn't say things like that because I always end up eating my words. Why? Don't know why that helicopter is headed over here. Okay, managed to avoid whatever patrol that was. I wish that blurriness would go away. I, I think I just need to take one of these anti-toxic pills. Medical item restoration boosts improved. So one nice thing, you know, one thing I really like about um, the style of gameplay that where you like earn experience based on what you're doing is nothing is wasted you know like i never feel like i am like oh you know it sucks that i have to do this because um you know like I, I could just like stave off the the toxicity and let it pass kind of naturally but you know using the medicine like you'll you can get the medicine again it's not like you'll never have more medicine but like using that medicine um actually gives you experience and uh, improves certain traits and i mean like we're getting like you know traits that give us like um you know boosts and and skills and stuff like that but also just improving your ability to receive medical care or you know use medical care on yourself is itself a uh, boost it's a it's a benefit i know i'm not explaining myself very well but like you know the more you do it the more you will benefit I can't tell you how done I am with this helicopter business and it looks to me like the helicopter is just like always where I need to go there's a stash right there and I want it I guess I am at half health that, that guy didn't need to he didn't didn't need two shots because um I was uh I was almost already almost dead. Not really sure why that is. Let's uh, try and take care of that. Patch up our leg, and then we'll use one of these. And then we'll save. Really, really don't like that. Or, oh. Okay, we're, we're going... Yeah, I mean, it's directly above. Basically, right where we need to go. Really don't like that. Hmm. Just waiting for it to start shooting at me. Um... Doesn't seem to be right now, so that's kind of nice. Okay, we'll just grab our stash and leave. You know, we don't need to. We don't need to stay. There it is. We got a army weapon crate. Good stuff.
now. Didn't I have another stash directly east? Yeah, I do. Not going underground. I refuse. As much as I hate the helicopter, I probably hate the underground more. I know how that sounds. Like, it's weird. But, like, I'd rather deal with this nice weather and the, you know, pleasant surroundings and environments with a helicopter that can just kill me in an instant than I would with a dank underground sewer filled with mutants and anomalies. Even if I can, like, you know, avoid them. Even if I have, like, all... Like, I don't know. I, I think the one thing that would, like, make the underground a bit more tolerable from my perspective, but I know this isn't the case, is if you could clear it out permanently I know you can't. I know that's not the case. I know that's not how it works. I understand that. But if you could clear it out permanently, I would really appreciate that. Because then the underground starts to look really good. Then it starts to look like a form of fast travel. But then again, I mean, we can pretty much fast travel anyway. No, there's not really a lot of fast travel locations. I don't know what's over here. There's some stuff over here, but... And there's a bed over here. I don't... Like, is there a town over there? Is there just, like, a, a couple stalkers? I think I just saw a bandit approaching. Be careful. All right. Well, at least um, things are going pretty well. Agriprom... I... I'm coming around to Agriprom, you know, now that I've gotten used to it a little bit here and there, it doesn't feel so horrible. Oh, this is a nice find. So got some ammo, got some stuff. Uh, well, got some ammo anyway. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I'm not even going to pick that stuff up. You okay, friend? He's gonna be just fine. We'll just patch that up, you know? I'm still kind of thinking about that uh, weird goblin-looking creature we saw in the last episode. Kind of scary. I, like, I, I, I expect, you know weird like werewolves and not not really werewolves so like uh, dire wolf looking creatures and slimos and gross mutants and zombies i don't expect little goblin people that's a new one that one's truly weird oh speaking of zombies Wait a minute. That's something I haven't seen before. Those are fast zombies. What are these? Mutants a fracture. Okay, these are the fractures that people have been talking about. I was going to see if there is a uh, possibly an artifact around here. But no. Indeed, no, there is not. Ooh, what is this? Russian tobacco. Wow, okay, cool. Uh, not gonna do it for me, honestly. Okay, what? Where are we going here? Okay, we're almost there. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Shoot. That was a complete accident. These things are weird. Kind of like them. There's, they're honestly like kind of pretty. Um, as far as anomalies go. Okay, where our stash is like right here. Where? Ow. Where is it? 
Please don't tell me it's like right where this anomaly is. I kind of hate it that they put them in the bush, always. I do not see it at all. Mashing the button. Ah. There it is. What in the world is that? Secured container. Oh, and uh, advanced tools. Advanced tools are great finding even if you already have a set because first of all um, people will give you quests to Get advanced tools. I'm not sure. I think something that would be cool I, I don't think that this is the case, but you know one can can dream um, but it would be nice if When you accomplish a quest like that um, Then that person could then do advanced improvements for you even if they cost a bit more. Um, but like, cause the thing is, is like right now, I know the guy at the farm can only do basic upgrades. Uh, but if I could get him advanced tools, maybe he could do something better, but I don't know. Um, I could try selling them to him and see what happens, but, uh, or I could just ask him like, you know, what kind of like ask him for quests. They, they t won't, will generally not even ask you for basic tools. I hate coming to the farm now, honestly, or like fast traveling to the farm because more often than not, there are bandits here. Luckily, there are not this time, but honestly, it's a, it was a, this is a rare exception. Okay, we're good. Um, let's see. First of all, do you have anything you want done? Eliminate dangerous mutants. Sure. In the garbage, we can do that. Any other work? Target artifacts, location garbage, gravel pit, faction military. Transaction. Decided to start a rat hunt in his group. I won't go into details. Your task is to come to the meeting place and pick up the goods by force. I'm not fighting the military. Sorry. Not not happening. Um uh, okay. So if I sell you these advanced tools. Sixty five hundred. Nice. A nice chunk of change. Um, we'll sell all of this. I'll keep this one. I'm starting to be a little bit more picky when it comes to what I keep. I might have to buy some uh, a set of lock picks. So the uh, the new gun is kind of working out. It's not not awful. Okay, this guy's a friend. I, I do appreciate that feature of the crosshair. It's nice. Really hope whatever that is it does not make its way over here. This is going to be uh, a little bit... We're, we're going to be doing a little bit of inventory management. Um, just so that I can check out these boxes. I mean, this is a rare... Like, we get to open some boxes and I'm in the right position to do so. Where is my lock picking kit? Oh, do I have it on me? Uh, where is it? Oh, there it is. Do we have any lock picks in here that I can add to it? I don't think so. It'd be kind of nice if you could make lock picking kits. Doesn't seem like you can. Okay, let's try to do the secured container first. Oh, they're both the same level of difficulty. Your picks are insufficient to open this box. Okay, we're gonna need to buy some lock picks. Shouldn't be too bad. I I have to imagine this is worth it. It's a complete gamble, of course. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. do you not sell? You don't sell lock picks. I thought you sold lock picks. Pack of bolts. You do not have. Lock picks. Well, that's a shame. That is a darn shame. Do you have lock picks? You do have lock picks. Okay. 
Ah, uh, they're kind of pricey. We'll grab them though. Wait, what? What? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, we have to load. I just spent 40,000 rubles on, on lockpicks. That was a mistake. 100% did not mean to do that. 100% did not mean to spend 40,000 rubles on lockpicks. That would, uh, that would be an outrageous step backwards. Um, yeah, not, not, not gonna, I'm not content with that reality. Um, all right, let's, let's try this again. I just need to buy one set of lockpicks. Now, unfortunately, I might have to buy a second one. We'll see how worth it this is. You have, okay, sell me one of those. For close to 9,000, it's still uh, like a major setback, I have to say. Okay, will that work? That did it. Loose stock. I'm hearing footsteps. Okay, never mind, we're good. Uh, we got loose documents. Those are generally worth selling. Um, these are encrypted, so I'm not sure what the deal is. Oh, here we go. Loose typed document for military intelligence. The information is encrypted as is standard. Um, so I think we can sell these. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to sell all of these. It's a little bit um, murky and I don't like selling something that I don't know because like maybe it's worth it. I think we got a pistol. We got a Glock 19 and it has a silencer. Um, meh. I, I, I say, sorry, I'm not a silencer, a, um, suppressor. You know, kind of, kind of meh, to be honest. I'm kind of not excited about any of this. Um, handgun repair kit. Let me look at the messages. It'll tell me exactly what I got. Loose documents. We got a grenade. Loose document. Handgun repair kit. A decent Glock 19. One box of some rounds. Now, call me crazy, but I don't think that that was worth it. I can't sell the Glock. I can sell the grenade, and I will, because I'm not ready to mess with that yet. I can sell these parts. Might be I, like it might be that I I'm better off like keeping them and selling them to the mutant dude, but um, that's a level of commitment I'm not worried looking to to get into. We have this leather bound journal. Oh, this is repair a uh, repair bonus, but I don't need that. Okay, I'm gonna work under the assumption that I'm just meant to sell these documents. It sucks though. I know this like this flash drive is worth a little bit. But I really don't know. I, I might have to look something like that up. But I have to say, seeing as I spent 8,000 to open that box, not super impressed with the rewards that we got. We got this stuff. I don't know if this is any good. Um, it's 357 rounds, which I can't use. I might key, I might try and disassemble them. Yeah, I don't know kind of a setback tempted honestly to load and uh, that's cheaty i won't do that i was gonna say i was gonna load and then open up the other box and see if it's any worth it at all i keep hoping that this guy sells a scope that is compatible or a magazine that is compatible with our uh what's this called adar carbine but that has not been the case we'll sell all this stuff I'll have a look at uh, whether or not flash drives are worth keeping or not. Um, I think I have more fuel I can use. I, I am not super happy with how that went down. And like the thing is, is now I, I have the same uncomfortable situation. Uh, I have another box that will take roughly the same amount of money to open up.
and you know and in fact actually more because i, I had a little bit of lock picks on you know before so it would actually cost me seventeen thousand to open up that other one army weapon crate oh god i can't say no i can't i can't i can't refuse it just it's too too tantalizing and i can't even open it up so i gotta buy more lock picks i hate it i hate it i i i'm gonna say if this isn't something amazing i am uh i'm gonna load Three boxes of rounds, a crappy AK-47. Are you kidding kidding me, my dude? Uh, I, I don't know, is an AK-47 good? I... I don't know. I don't know, I mean, it uses a 554... 39. So it's not, um, I, I'm going to load. I can't afford, I can't afford to be throwing down 20,000 rubles to, to, to have a crappy AK that I have to repair. Maybe it's worth it, but I honestly, I honestly want to backtrack both of those. I'd like to, I'd like to undo both of those. I'm sorry. Cause the thing is, is like, it's just a complete waste of money and time. Um, you know, neither of these boxes had, uh, anything really worth it. I I'm gonna, I'm gonna load both of them. I'm sorry. I know this is in, like, very much, um, not the spirit of, of it. Because it's like, you know, half the point is you're supposed to spend resources to open those boxes. But, like, I'm... You know, considering how close I am to getting spending that money on armor, I I just don't like the idea of I spent thirty thousand rubles on guns that I'm never going to use. So I'm just gonna sell them. And I know that's in I know this is in poor taste and and i am a bad gamer and all of that and feel free 100 percent to to throw in your 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 comments about how i'm i'm an awful player look at how much money i'm making for selling those i probably should have just sold them in the first place and like yeah i i fell i fell victim to the classic uh you know me mechanics of of like oh well you know, it could be anything. It could even be a boat. And I, I felt, I felt totally, you know, hook, line, and sinker. But at the same time, I'm like, I could buy this handguard. I, if I sell all of this stuff, I actually think I have enough to. Oh, and and uh, the advanced tools. Yeah, we have enough. We could buy the next. No, no, we don't. We almost do. Um, I'm very close. I bet you I have enough stuff in my crate that I could s sell easily and uh, we'd be able to buy some good armor. Yeah, I mean, I feel bad. I know I know people are going to be potentially upset. I mean, you know, that's if anyone's watching. You know, honestly, the benefits of uh, no one watching your series is that no one gives you crap <laughs> when you play the game. Um, the way you want to play it, you know, it's unexpected benefit of flying under the radar. Um, oh, we have all this mutant stuff we could sell. I'm just trying to see if there's anything. I have a lot of junk in here that probably I should just get rid of. I mean, I have this AK... I wonder if I can um, pull that scope off and put it on my current gun. Nope, wouldn't that be nice? That would have been so sweet. 
But you know what we can do is I could salvage upgrades from this. I am pretty sure if I do that, it destroys the weapon. I like this weapon. AK-104 is a nice weapon. But I think I'd like to get the upgrades. What is this? Salvage upgrades from this item. You need to have a medium and large caliber rifle repair kit in your inventory. Oh. Uh. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Um... Not sure what we're doing. I guess I could sell the AK-104. If I was going to sell a gun, it would probably be that one. Or that or the, uh, the sniper rifle. I think the sniper rifle is just a downgrade. And it's, its condition is quite good. I mean, its actual condition is not great, I suppose. This one's closer to being, like, perfect, although it needs uh, a new barrel. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm a little bit, uh, flim I feel a little flim-flam right now, you know? Like, I feel, like, not, not, uh, like, you know, making a decision on any of this. I just, like, I really want, I, we're so close to being able to afford some better armor. And I've been kind of struggling a little bit. I'd like to get to the next part, next part of the game. And I don't feel confident that I can do that until I have some better armor. Uh, that being said, the armor is gone. This guy is no longer selling it. So that's a shame. So we should just like, you know, basically have the armor or buy it when we see it and like just collect money when we can. Let's see if these guys have any quests. How about that? You have a quest? You have something I could do? You want have anything work? Uh, target artifact? No, never mind. I forgot about that. Yeah, you have a job that I don't want. Um, let's go ahead and fix our leg up. Sidorovic mentioned that a blowout is about to happen this evening. You've been warned. Good to know. Um, let's throw uh, all of our upgrades and stuff in here. Oh, yeah, we could sell our uh, mutant parts. I don't know why I'm carrying this stuff around. I wonder in this universe, in this, in this uh, landscape, do you think that bandits talk to stalkers? Like, why not? Like, I can see their messages, right? I can see them talking in the comms. And we can talk to each other. Why would, uh, why would we not talk to each other? Like, why wouldn't a stalker talk to a bandit? Apparently bandits, at least uh, canonically, are stalkers. They're just a different form of stalker. It's just a different mindset. Um... Uh, that doesn't make them go good, by the way. I'm not saying, you know, that doesn't really justify them at all. But um, it does, it is an interesting, you know, like we're all stalkers here. Um, just, you know, everyone's got a slightly different way of doing things. But like, yeah, I'm still not a huge fan of someone like, you know, instead of like trying to find their riches, they're just going to pick them off the body of a, Someone who risks their life. I think that that's kind of lame. Okay, sell all that stuff. Um, hey, buddy. Do you want to buy my other junk? Like my smokes. Buy my smokes and my magazines and whatever this is. Personal journal. And uh, loose document, sure. And my mutant parts. Not bad. Good chunk of change. All right. We could go to Sidorovic and um, see if he's got a quest for us. Let me see. Is there any quest need doing? Wow. All of our quests are in like crazy area. Why did I take a job, a mission in the army warehouse? That was just a hundred percent an incorrect move. We could check out Yantar. We could check out Rostock. Let's 
Sherlock went into the resupply of Rostock. Barkeep probably knows something about it. Pay him a visit. I remember Barkeep. We could go to Dark Valley. This goes to Dark Valley. Oh, is my thing almost dead? Okay, uh, let's throw in a battery. Um, let's go to Dark Valley. Why not? Military checkpoint. I mean, there's uh, plenty of reasons why not, but we could. So we're gonna go straight. E oh, there's a there is a stash in Cordon. All right, you know what? Let's go to Rookie Village. Let's go to Rookie Village. See if we can get a couple quests. And um, I meant to pick something up here. Another RF stash. Let me see. Uh, messages. Sure. Okay, yeah. Don't forget about a package 33 megahertz. Let's go ahead and set that up right now. Pretty sure they said south in uh, the cordon. Worst part about the RF radio is setting the frequency. I'm sure there's a better way to do it. Oh yeah, holding shift, maybe? Yeah, holding shift does it. Okay, let's uh, go talk to Sidorovic real quick. Maybe he's got some better armor. Oh cool, he's got an ADAR. That's cool. Ah, here we go. Universal protection, 93,000. So maybe it was Sidorovic that I was looking at his wares. But there's that universal protection. I would really like to have that. Um, mostly for the ballistics resistance. It doesn't have great other resistances. I do like the clear sky uniform. It's got great chemical resistance, great electrical resistance, pretty good radiation. It's is this uh, what I'm using is honestly not awful. Let's see if you have anything I can do. Oh yeah, bandit patches. We can do that right now. Job is done. New stash coordinates. Nice. Any other jobs you want done? No, nothing. Okay. Um. We're so close. Or are we even? Yeah, we are. Like, we could probably afford this right now. Um, what could I sell? I could sell some food, I suppose. Uh, I kind of need that food, though. <laughs> Here, we'll sell these two joints. That's something. We just need to make about a thousand rubles. We sell, we could sell one water. That's not really worth it. He's not giving us a lot for that. Helmet repair kit. Sure, we'll sell a helmet repa repair kit. We could sell some of these patches. Yeah, that'll do it. I don't think I'll ever get a quest to hand in a radiation patch. Because that would uh, imply I'm talking to people that, like, want to see free stalkers dead, so... All right, so we'll sell all this and we will buy ourselves universal protection. It's a lot of money we just spent. This outfit, most stalkers will assume I'm part of the bandit community. Wait, what? Let's uh, rip off the badge. Tear patch off. I'm part of the free stalkers community. There we go. So I guess you could, if you wanted to, you could be part, uh, like, you know, assume yourself as part of the bandit faction. Which is an interesting idea. You could, like, be, you know, kind of sneak through a bandit area. I like that idea. So this thing is six kilograms, so carrying it around, not the, not the, you know, not an ideal idea. We do need to upgrade this thing. 
because I would like to well, we don't have any money so I'm not going to be upgrading it with much <laughs> so uh, you know fully aware of the fact that I just spent every dime I have on this armor um, let's eat some food so I okay we got our armor we need to accomplish a couple of quests we need to hand some stuff in we need to make some money maybe go and kill a couple bandits you know we're we're starting from scratch almost we need some help we're under fire from thugs and cordon oh you know what we can do is we can go and uh get our, our stash that's like why i'm here i didn't expect um to be able to afford that business um do we have any fuel yeah we do we have one can we make some decent food doesn't look like it we need mineral water or we need nimarov vodka or we don't have the right kind of meat so we may as well just like cook all of this up Just gonna take a moment, cook up all this food. It's been a very um, utility episode, I understand that. We haven't really been doing a lot of fire shooting or anything like that. Um, it's, uh, I, I, I hope it hasn't been too tedious. But this is kind of, um, you're getting a little bit of a taste of what I tend to do between episodes. You know, cooking up our food and making sure all my stuff is at good in good condition trying to you know make up the parts to get our next piece of equipment i'm not sure what i'm going to do uh, like am i going to get rid of um our last armor i like i don't really want to maybe i could uh, try and salvage the upgrades it does have some decent upgrades on it that's honestly not an awful idea. I'd need to get some kind of, like, suit repair kit, I guess. Okay, so let me have a look again at our messages. Um, 33. Where is it? Where is our message? Don't forget about our thing. We lost. If you're looking for a chance to join. I am not. Oh, 33. Don't forget about our package in the southern region of Cordon. The frequency was on 33 megahertz. Okay, so I mean just southern part. We don't know anything else really. Do a save. So the next thing we need is a better helmet. Uh, it's, uh, some zombies. Some Zambos. Okay. Okay. Well, um, we just had our armor put to the test um, these don't look like the regular dogs I think these are side dogs or maybe they're um, pseudo dogs Pseudo dogs. Pseudo dogs are definitely more dangerous. Hey, at least they like didn't die. This armor must be somewhat better. Unfortunately, we immediately damaged it. It's fine. These things are gonna happen. We'll definitely uh, get what we can get from these lads. rope huh okay so back to what we were actually doing
I know there's a military base south of rookie base. I don't want to get too close to that. Something went down over here. Oh, we have military. Um, this lad was already butchered. What about this lad over here? Nope. Too decayed. Oh, uh, interesting. We got some pseudo dog fur and something, so. Hmm, okay, so I'm um, not sure. Maybe we're not south enough? I guess we could stand to go more south. Hope it's not too close to that military base. We're going pretty south. I feel like the fog is getting a bit thicker. Yeah. Really didn't want to do any of this. Just trying to find my stash, guys. There's no need to be violent. A helicopter is going to be coming in any second now. Ouch. I might end up loading. Uh, well, at least we know that this armor is pretty good. I am probably going to end up loading. I just like... Would like to find out where this thing is before I do load. Even if I'm like close. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So I think it's safe to say it's not near the military base. Sometimes it, when it says Southern region, it just means this, this bottom half of the map, you know, not, not necessarily. Am I, maybe I'm not even in the cordon. No, I am in the cordon. I'm definitely in the cordon. Uh, yeah, this stash is going to be annoying. So uh, yeah, they they've been mostly kind to me. The the RF stashes like you, I, I've like found them almost instantly, every single time. Southern region of the cord and the frequency was on thirty three megahertz. Well, that's where I am. Ain't finding no package. Wish we could do away with the military almost like permanently. I know there's a pseudo dog around here, but I seem to take him out pretty easily. Here they come. Nice. Easy peasy. Heard a shotgun in cordon north of the southern checkpoint. Sounds rough. I love hearing them talk about me. I might just say screw it to the stash. 
Like they've generally been pretty good. I like the stashes, especially the RF ones. They're, you know, usually pretty, pretty good, decent. But if they're this difficult to find, might not, uh, might not bother. Um, yeah, like, I don't know. Maybe it's past the, the military point. Oh God, that would be annoying. Honestly, I think that's probably it. Are you kidding me, dude? Why? All right, well, I guess we're cool. Not the helicopter is weird. I don't know. It's such a broken mechanic. It really doesn't make any sense to me at all. But whatever. I I I do, I do want to find this um, stash. So I'm gonna make one last ditch effort. I'll. Oh, ow. Oh, whoops. Wow, walked right into that. That was dumb of me. It looks like something over here. Channel is hijacked by VSU. Our Ukrainian army is the strongest. Ukraine number one. Ukraine number one. What do we have over here? This looks interesting, if a bit scary. Oh, there's a, a passage here. Where? To the Great Swamps. Oh. Uh, I guess I'm a dummy. I guess I knew about that, I just forgot. This is going to be, uh, your, like, lo-fi, um, you know, episode to listen to while you explore the zone. So there's a big old fence here. How far does this go? It seems to me, like, uh, forever. Man, if I have to go through that base in order to get my stash, I am definitely giving up on it. All right, I'm going to probably end up loading again cuz I walked into that anomaly. Let's uh, let's just have a quick look here. Oh cool, I can't even shoot. Yeah, I'm giving up on that stash. Unless I like I'll keep my thing open and see if um if it's maybe like north of the rookie village even in the south area, but I if like if there's an even a chance that I have to go past that military checkpoint in order to find that RF sash, I, I'm 100% giving up on that. So, I don't know. What's what's next? Um, I think probably uh, what I'm going to do is... Um, we'll, we'll, uh, let's see here. There's a couple things I could try and do. There's apparently a quest in the swamp. I could try again to take out that Night Terror, although I think that that is a absolute folly... Uh, quest um i think what i'd like to try and do next honestly would be to go to the dark valley and collect some of our stashes there and just have a little bit of an explore explore and if things are starting to look good if our equipment feels like it's uh up to the task then uh then i may hit push up a little bit towards um was it I always forget, not Strelok, Strelok's who I'm looking for, um, Rostock. We could go to Rostock. We could also go to Truck Cemetery just to see how this is, but um, things are going to be a little bit scary over here. There might even be a couple like chimeras or something like horrible. Um, I don't think I have the chops to take on one of those. I think in order to take on something like that, 
um i might want to have something like uh like starting to get start to get into transmogrification of like our uh of artifacts i really i do not know how that works but we can we can give it a go i might want to craft also there's ways of crafting um things that let you make use of artifacts that don't necessarily mean put them putting them on your belt so um that is an option as well um so i think what i'll do is i'm going to end this episode in the farm as i tend i tend to go to the farm a lot just to you know compartmentalize a lot of our equipment and apparently there was an emission and i traveled through it which is kind of nice i just happened to miss it we could take on a couple of quests from these lads see if they've got anything no anything what done cocaine i don't i don't even i haven't, didn't even know that was in the game my dude let's explore as a team we could help each other through the zone he wants monolith monolith patches sure sounds like a great idea well that's an interesting way of uh ending the episode is we end with a friend that's kind of nice what about you friend are you part of this team no you have anything to sell no okay well that's cool um you know it might be nice to travel with someone and uh you know if we have two of us maybe um maybe the dark valley won't be so dark who knows but anyway uh if you're enjoying this series definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this and i'll see you guys next time i'm gonna sell some mutant parts and uh yeah well maybe maybe i'll make some food Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.